The Harrisburg School District is moving forward with plans to demolish the former William Penn High School, which has been abandoned now for more than a decade. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz has more on where those plans stand and what the community is saying. The former William Penn High School has sat vacant for years. We love this building. It's it's beautiful. In that time, the abandoned building has become part of Ellie and Van Breithop's family walks around their Harrisburg neighborhood. It's a beautiful piece of property. Honestly, we would love to see it restored, but we know that it's like a crazy amount of money. Between 40 and $90 million to be exact. At Tuesday night's meeting, the Harrisburg School District presented those figures as what it would potentially cost to renovate the building. It's money the district doesn't have, which is why it's proposing to demolish the school instead. Architecturally, it's beautiful, so we don't like we've we've had ideas <laughs> what we'd love to see happen. But yeah, it's interesting that they're finally starting to move on it. Over the years, the abandoned school has become a target for crime, everything from break ins and vandalism to even arsons. Anytime we have abandoned properties, people know it's abandoned. It becomes a concern just because it is subject to typically kids and or people trying to break in there to burglarize it for uh, whether it's for copper or for wire or for whatever the material that they're looking for is. Harrisburg police say the building has become a public safety concern for the city. So there is a concern for people that are going in there as well um, that they could get hurt or seriously injured in reference to uh, trying to make their way through that property. According to the school district, demolition would come with a nearly $7 million price tag. That amount includes full asbestos removal and clean out of the building. It would be paid for out of capital reserve funding. And the pictures that we've seen inside, it's atrocious. Just the vandalism that's happened in there. So something needs to happen. The school board will vote to approve the demolition plan on June 27th. If approved, work would start in August or September of this year and take approximately one year to complete. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.